what's up guys welcome back to lion mark tv mark here with another exciting light and a much interesting video here on the channel well some few days ago i made a video here when i shared a video of obi kubana received the, the award of the best entrepreneur of the year for the african award in canada this one actually took place in canada and yes it was awesome and very amazing over there he took he took this man a lot of time he had to fly from london to canada and explore other parts of country of the countries just to get this particular one well he's back to nigeria for some days now and he's been busy 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 attending events well we all know it's a festive period and as a big boy like him is definitely supposed to attend most of those festive celebrations anyway today he was honored again at the daily telegraph award in lagos nigeria where he backed the entrepreneur award of the year for 2022 well the highlights what i will bring to you here in the channel so if you're new here please consider subscribing and also don't forget to wish obi kubana a congratulation in the comment section it's not an easy task to achieve all of this thing enjoy the video guys the next award goes to a game changer in the annals of business in africa he's a strategic leader a boardroom icon a best setter a firm believer in fairness and hard work an exceptional businessman is indefatigable is enterprising is resourceful resilient and a philanthropist extraordinaire a true definition of grass to grace. Chairman of the Kubana Group, Obina Obi Iyegu, known as Obi Kubana. Obina Iyegu, Obi Kubana, Chairman of Kubana Group, was born on April 12, 1975, into a family of scholars. His father, Chief Sir Alex Iyegu, was a former principal, while his mother, Mrs. Azine Uchi Iyegu, was the headmistress. The award-winning entrepreneur, philanthropist, and people developer attended Central Primary School over a number of states, where he obtained his first school leading certificate. From there, he proceeded to Dennis Memorial Grammar School on Egypt to acquire his West African Secondary School certificate. Obi Kubana graduated with a second class in his upper division from the Department of Political Science, University of Nigeria, in Suka. In 2001, Obi started his entrepreneurship journey from the streets of Abuja as a real estate agent with his former schoolmate Umwafa Obizu Onwa NOO. They opened the NOO Garden Abuja, a blend of Africa and intercontinental. Despite its challenges, NOO Garden was gradually becoming a success story until the government put a ban on gardens in Abuja and demolished it. Obi Kubana went on to open Ibiza Nightclub, Area 11, Garden in 2006, with his new partners, Maxwell and Ben. Ibiza was a hit. In 2009, he created Kubana and Save Suit Abuja, which became a big bang until the insurgent sister hitting that life and social gatherings hard. Not related, Obi Kubana moved to Kutaka and together with his partners opened Kubana Lounge, Kutaka. However, he never lost sight of Abuja. He has since opened other lounges and hotels across different cities in the country and is planning to establish Kubana London. Beyond hospitality, Obi Kubana's interest in real estate never wavered. He is the owner of Casa Kubana Real Estate Limited in Abuja, in Lagos, and will soon open up in the eastern part of Nigeria. In 2002, his drive for entrepreneurship led him to a factory where he birthed Odogu Beaters, a globally celebrated alcohol drink, which has now become the king of all beaters. Ladies and gentlemen, entrepreneur of the year. 2022 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
par le Spirit of the Tabonashi pour que nous soyons en train de faire des choses en Nigeria, en Afrique et en tout le monde. Nous allons continuer à faire ce que nous faisons bien et nous allons continuer à faire ce que nous faisons. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. The next award, ladies and gentlemen, is for the most promising commercial company of the year. And the award goes to NNPC Limited. On September 21, 2021, a couple of estimations of the Indian operations of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited in line with the provisions of the Petroleum Industry Act, PRA 2021. The PRA was signed into law by President Mohamed Buhari on August 16, 2021, following its passing by the National Assembly in July of the same year. In line with the registration by the CEC, the NNPC Limited was floated with an initial capital of 200 billion naira, making history as the company with the highest share capital in Nigeria. Following the capitalization, the NNPC Limited on July 1, 2022, legally transformed into a company whose operations and activities are regulated under the Companies and Allied Matters Act. The transformation into a PAMA company provided a platform for the NNPC Limited to be managed and run as a commercially oriented and profit driven national petroleum company independent of government and audited IOU. Since its transformation, the NNPC has recorded significant successes that have positioned it into an efficient national oil company in Algeria and even beyond the shores of the country. It meets the challenging operating environment which has tested the resilience of the institutions and businesses globally. The NNPC weathered the storm by posting its second consecutive year of profit of 674.1 billion naira in the year 2021. In spite of a tough and volatile operating environment, the NNPC's group investment strategy proved resilient and enabled the national oil company. Despite being a successful businessman for the for over 20 years and more, Obi Kobana actually came into the limelight last year, 2021, during the murder funeral. Yes, where we all know how he shut down the city of Anambra State and made money win. His friends, families made money win completely everywhere in the state of Anambra, especially his hometown, Oba. Ever since then, it's been award from one brand or the other to one company or the other been giving him awards of all kinds all throughout this period now early last late last year he received an award as the best uh, man of the year some newspaper gave him that one sometime this year he did receive another one as african entrepreneur of the year one of african entrepreneur of the year and this time around is actually son and um daily telegraph we all know this is a reputable newspaper agency congratulations to him don't forget to wish him a comment